hi, I'm Alessandrino and in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the Arduino service and how to make your Arduino to communicate with my robot lab. So the first step is to download the Arduino IDE from the Arduino website. So we go in the download section and uh, we select the Arduino 1.0.5 version and depending by your operative system you have to choose the right version I use the I use Windows so I select Windows Z IP file it takes a bit to download them and uh, once it has finished you have to unzip the folder and uh, move it to the desktop maybe so it's easy to use the second file to download is the myrobotlab.com library you'll find the URL uh, in the video description and on myrobotlab too so click on the link in the video description and download this file in order to download the file you have to click on view row and you'll see the myrobotlab.com library download it, it's very small uh, move the library on the desktop and be sure that the name of the compressed folder is mrl.com otherwise it will not work properly ok so once the Arduino is downloaded and uh, the library is downloaded too, we can start and we have to open the Arduino IDE and install the library. To install the library, you have to click on Sketch, Import Library, Add Library. So what you have to do is to go where you have the MRL.com library and just select. On the bottom you can see library added to libraries. Check import library menu. So to be sure the library is correctly installed you have to go to sketch import library and uh, if uh, the library is correctly installed you'll see mrl.com on the bottom the second step is to upload the Arduino INO file into your Arduino uh, so you have to open the MyRobotLab And you have to be sure you have the latest version. I have 1.0.61 version. To see if my one is the latest, I go on runtime, system, check for updates. So it's checking. Oh, a new version is available. So would you like to update? I click on OK. It's downloading. and then you restart so once it's restart you'll see that the version has changed and it is the latest just to be sure I click on check for updates the second time and uh, it says no new updates are available so it's finished I close then I have to open an Arduino service uh, if it is not installed, so if it's not in green, you have to right click and click on install. Since I'm, uh, I have installed uh, already my Arduino service, I just, right, uh, I just left click on start and I give a random name like Arduino for example. Ok. The Arduino service start and you can 
left click on the Arduino tab and you can see that you have the Emerald Com Hino so what you have to do is to select all copy and then return in the Arduino IDE and passed once you have passed all then you have to be sure that the Arduino type is correct so in my case it's Arduino Mega so it's correct and the serial port is the right one so com COM5 in my case and then you can upload it's compiling the sketch and is sending the sketch to the Arduino it's uploading okay uploading completed so you'll see a nice message on the bottom then you step back in my robot lab and you can click on tools serial device oh uh, check for the board too serial device com5 you can see on the bottom the arduino is connected so connected on com5 responded version 18 good times so there is a double arrow on the top in yellow and the bottom says good times so it means the Arduino is correctly installed and you are ready to use your Arduino with MyRobotLab. Just to be sure you can click on the oscope and select a pin. If you see a green if you see a line in the oscope it means MyRobotLab is communicating with the digital pins and so it's all okay, good time. You can check with analog an analog pin too so it's working you have to do um, all this just for the first time so you have to uh, install the library and import the Arduino ION INO uh, just for the first time uh, you use your Arduino with MyRobotLab so the second time or other times you have just to open my robot lab in this way create a service for example Arduino and just go in tools serial device COM5 that's it you don't need to upload the Arduino uh, sketch the second time, the third time, you have to do this only for the first time if you have any question uh, you can comment on this video so bye, ciao ciao